Welcome to Sonic World Video Solutions. My name is Kritika Nakshatri. In this video, we will demonstrate how to recover or reset the administrator password on appliances running Sonic OS Enhanced. If the Sonic World's admin password is lost, there is no backdoor or other mechanism to bypass the administrator login. Even when you try to access the unit using the command line interface, you would need to enter the password for the admin account. The preferences files, which is the exported settings of the unit, do not contain the admin name and password. It is possible to gain access using the default login credentials, which is the username as admin and password as password, by resetting the firmware and importing a current preferences file. Without a current preferences file, it will be necessary to reset the firmware and reconfigure the appliance from scratch. Once the Sonic World is rebooted with the factory default firmware, all the settings including the admin name, password and LAN IP address will be reset to factory defaults. Once this is done, you can import the current preferences file or the backup that you have. Once the import is complete, the configuration is restored and you can log in using the default username which is admin and the password which is password to log in. The process that needs to be followed is a hard reset of the Sonic Wall, followed by booting the system with current firmware with factory default settings or a new firmware with factory default settings and then importing the backup if available. For the hard reset process, you would need to hold the hard reset button on the Sonic Wall UTM appliance until you see the amber wrench light blinking. Once the wrench light starts to blink, set a static IP on a computer that is connected to the X0 interface of the Sonic Wall. The IP needs to be in the network 192.168.168.0/24. On the computer that I have connected to the X0 interface of the Sonic Wall, I have assigned the IP of 192.168.168.100, the subnet mask of 255.255.255.0, and the default gateway as 192.168.168.168. Once the IP is set, open a browser and access the IP 192.168.168.168. You will see the device in safe mode. From the safe mode page, you can upload a new firmware if you have a firmware downloaded and ready on your system or else you would need to use the option current firmware with factory default settings. Boot with this firmware. Once the Sonic Wall restarts, if you do not have a backup of the Sonic Wall settings, you could use the Sonic Wall setup wizard or to log in directly to the Sonic Wall management interface click on the second link that you see. For the username and password, use admin as the username in lowercase and the password would be the word password in lowercase. Click on login. You are now logged in to the Sonic Wall interface and the device is in factory default settings. If you have a known good settings backup of the Sonic Wall, you could go to the settings page, click on import settings and choose the exp file that was previously backed up. This will restore the settings on the Sonic Wall. Once the import of settings is complete, you would need to register the device once again and the password for the administrator account can be changed under System, Administration, Administrator Name, provide the old password and then the new password as required. To learn more about Dell Sonic Wall security products, please visit dellsoftware.com slash solutions slash network hyphen security. For more video tutorials, visit dellsoftware.com slash support. I hope this has been informative and thank you for watching this video.